New developments now on a Rehoboth firefighter who died in the line of duty. Kenneth Marshall Jr. had a heart attack on his way to a call four years ago on Thanksgiving. Today, Rehoboth firefighters are honoring the memory of their fallen comrade. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yocono has the story. Members of the fire department are part of a family. They stick together, and when one of them falls, they make sure that person's legacy lives on. Station 2 in Rehoboth. This was Kenneth Marshall Jr.'s second home. Now, with a new sign squarely placed over the garage, the building carries his name. Friend to everybody. You know, he just, um, just a great guy. Wonderful son. Rhonda Marshall's father, husband, and sons have all served on this department. It was November 2010. Her son, Kenneth, answered the call for help and left the station headed to a fire. But his engine never made it. Kenneth had a medical emergency and died. The station was draped in black. This dedication ceremony was the first time Rhonda saw the memorial stone in plaque with her son's face. I can't even put it into words. Just a uh, idea. He had a smile that was contagious. It was unbelievable. When he would walk into the room and smile, you couldn't help but smile on yourself. He was, a, he was just that big, big, happy guy. Deputy Chief Frank Baresi calls this ceremony a rebirth for the station, a new name, fresh paint, and the memorial to make sure the next generation never forgets the man with a big smile who gave everything to his community. This town has been wonderful. The firefighters have been wonderful. I can't thank them enough. I cannot thank them enough. His name will live on forever. Rhonda Marshall tells me the story has come full circle. Her father, she says, helped build Station 2, the same building that now bears her son's name. In the newsroom, Brian Nicono, Eyewitness News.